Lars Anderson, a native out of Sweden, came to the United States in the year 1987 as a high school exchange student. He previously was a semi-professional soccer player in his homeland. After attending Clarksville High in Clarksville, Tennessee, he graduated to Austin Peay State where he played football as a kicker. I came here to spend the 1987-88 school year at Clarksville High in Clarksville, Tennessee. I played uh, semi-professional soccer in my native country of Sweden. I'd also played hockey as a youth player, so I, uh, I spent my youth playing hockey and soccer. Uh, came over here to the United States and actually ended up playing in college. I played college football. I was a place kicker, played, uh, started off playing Division I football, then transferred and played at an NEA school in Kentucky. So I actually played college football, but I had a background in, in soccer, obviously. My true passion is the game of uh, uh, soccer. Uh, I didn't play soccer in college because uh, NCAA rules prevented me from doing so because I had a background obviously in my native country of, of uh, uh, you know, having played for money. So I ended up playing football. You can play a sport as a professional and then play a different sport in college. Um, so I, the option to play soccer in college was not there for me. So I chose to become a, 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 a you know, place kicker in football. But certainly soccer is my first love. It's a sport I grew up with, a sport I've played since I was, uh, you know, as long as I can remember. So it was an easy choice for me. I have a great passion for the game. I have a great passion for the people who are involved in the game. And, and, and uh, I never really, my, my, my roots and my heart are, are in soccer for sure. His college football career was cut short when he got called to fulfill his duty as an Army Ranger in the Swedish military. While in the Army, Coach Anderson learned a lot of valuable lessons. Uh, I didn't enjoy my time in the military and it instilled a lot of uh, discipline in me. It, it allowed me to, uh, to hone my skills as a leader. Uh, it allowed me to uh, push myself physically, to understand that when you think you're completely exhausted and there's nothing left in the tank, there's always 5% more to give. Uh, it allowed me to learn to trust uh, uh, the people around me. Uh, I learned a lot of valuable lessons from the military, and, and although I don't think that was a career that I wanted to embark on, I'm very appreciative of the year that I spent in the Swedish military. After returning and finishing his education, he started coaching men's soccer at Reinhardt College. Years later, he made the transition to women's soccer. Unlike some coaches, Coach Anderson made a smooth transition from men's to women's soccer, while never underestimating his female players and treated them all as individuals. I started in college soccer uh, on the men's side. Actually, my last game I coached was the 1998 uh, Junior College Division I National Championship game. My, uh, my team at that time was Reinhardt College. We lost the men's uh, uh, 1998 National Championship game. And after that, I had a number of opportunities to, uh, to pursue other options. I had no intentions of actually um, coaching women's soccer. And then my alma mater, Cumberland College in Kentucky, uh, contacted me and uh, told me that they uh, had um, an opening for the women's soccer job and asked me if I was interested. I initially said no uh, and they invited me up to meet the team and spend some time with them and once I met those young ladies and, and, and saw their drive, their motivation, uh, I, I, I just, uh, you know, I, for me I'm a I'm the kind of person that when something feels right, I know it right away. And my wife and I had, had met at that school. We were um, had close ties to that school and it was an opportunity to return to Cumberland College. Uh, and uh, it was an opportunity to try something new in life. And I've never looked back. I've coached women's soccer ever since.